All right, guys, welcome back to DIY Agric, your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to identify broilers that will grow well. Yeah, and the ones that will not grow. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be highlighting the things that you need to watch out for and how you can also correct it when things go awire. Alright, so over the couple of years, the reason why I've been able to raise broilers that will eat that market weight in 5 to 6 weeks is not because all the time I get the best birds from the hatcheries. No, sometimes you get birds that don't perform as you expected, but you need to be able to know if they will grow well from the get-go. And also, when you discover that they will not perform as much as you expected, there are some things that you should be able to do. Okay, so all these things I'm going to be highlighting, how you can identify if they will grow well or not. And the things that you can do if you discover that oh these ones are subpar okay and also the things that you can do when you are ordering for the next batch so that you don't get those kind of birds again okay so if you think that you like this kind of content you want to hit that like button and if you are not subscribed to the channel already you want to hit that subscribe button so that you become part of this community you know I'm helping you succeed in poultry okay so let's dive into the video have you subscribed come on do that now thank you all right, so the first thing you want to watch out for is weakness, yeah. And this is usually associated with poor hatching process or late arrival on your farm. When your birds arrive at your farm late, it means that they have gone through a lot of stress and that stress might have weakened them immunologically. That is, their immune response must be low. And in such birds, you need to ensure that you boost their immunity at the early stage so that they won't come down with diseases because diseases will actually stunt their growth. If you notice that they arrive at your farm late, just ensure that for the first few days, you also try to boost their immunity. For those who are purchasing organic poultry, there are things that I have taught in my course that you can use for your birds that can help boost their immune system. But generally, garlic and honey works well. But there's more to that and you can actually get my book or take my course to know all that. And the second sign to watch out for is early adaptation. You see, when you get new broilers on your farm or new birds, generally when chicks arrive at your farm, they are supposed to go around and try to inspect the whole area, try to know where there is water, try to know where there is feed, and try to acclimatize themselves with that new environment. And that is a very good property, is a very good characteristic of the broilers that will go well. If they start to check around with their curiosity and try to inspect, check for feed, check for the wood shavings and all that, just know that that's a green light that they might be growing well. And this kind of birds will also start to eat well and drink lots of water from day one. So that's another indication for you to watch out for. All right, so very soon I'm going to be talking about a few points that make all the difference. If anything goes wrong in this area, just know that, wow, these birds will not grow or these birds will grow depending on what happens. Okay, so let's talk about the third one, which is crop fuel. That is the crop of your bird where feed is stored after it has been ingested. How long does it take for these birds to have a crop fuel? You know, so when you get some broilers within the first two, three, four, five hours, you see most of them have crop fuel. So once your broilers arrive at your farm and after about six hours, you see 75 of them having crop fuel, just know that, wow, these ones are ready to come and eat your money and then convert it to more money. Okay, so that's the joy of every brother from man when your birds are happy and they eat your money, but then they give you back more money. Okay, but if even after 14 hours you cannot get 50% of your birds to have crop fuel, just know that there's trouble looming and just try as much as possible to motivate them to eat and drink. Whether you have to control the weather, maybe you want to make the place warmer and all that, just make sure that you get them eating and drinking as quickly as possible because it is your feed that will be converted to more money. All right, so number four is actually a combo, which are stamina, morbidity, and mortality rate. You have to ensure that the birds that come to your farm before they can produce good results must have stamina even at day one. They should have stamina, they should be looking out for feed and water, they should be running up and down. That's one of the things that tell you that, oh, these birds will actually do well. And another thing is morbidity. How many of them come to your farm and look, they are looking sick, you know? And then mortality. How many of them come to your farm already dead, dead on arrival? The ratio of the birds that come sick or weak or dead should actually be very low 
on the first day it should be very low but if the birds come weak or many of them are dead and especially when this cannot be traced to transportation stress oh just know that this might be trouble all right so let's talk about their weight on arrival before we talk about the most important factor that you need to check all right so their weight on arrival we, we have variation actually between arteries and even within the same arteries we have variation based on the breeder stock they are the size of the eggs that are set and all those things normally the best should be weighing over 45 grams on average 45 to say 52 that's good weight but sometimes we get even 38 37 and that's not too good that's not too good but then sometimes even the birds that come to your farm and weighing 38 37 still perform excellently well so while their weight on arrival is not everything it still counts so you want to ensure that you get birds that look big that their size is impressive say 45 grams 52 grams that's good that's good but then let's move on to the most important factor that you need to check out all right so if you have come this far but you are yet to subscribe to the channel or you're yet to hit that like button come on there's a lot of value that you are getting here so please hit the like button and also click on that subscribe button if you are yet to do so don't forget to also hit the notification bell so you always be the first to get my uploads when they come all right number seven number seven their weight at one week their weight when they are seven days old that is so so important okay so this is going to be scientific i'm not just going to be talking okay are they heavy do they look big no that doesn't really count whether they look big to you or not it may not really help you it's not about looking big it's actually the weight the weight the weight and if you're raising broilers but you don't have a digital scale i still wonder what you're doing you need to get yourself a digital scale a digital scale will help you to know whether you're doing things right or not it will even help you to be able to measure your drug it will be to take the right measurement of drugs some people still use teaspoon and all those things to measure that's not the best but then let's wave that that's not what we're talking about we're talking about their weight at one week so typically and ideally the weight of your birds at one week should be times four minimum times four of what they weigh on the first day so on arrival at your farm you took the measurement and they were weighing say 40 grams at day seven when you take their weight again they should be weighing minimum of 40 times four 40 times 4 and that is 160 grams so they should be weighing 160 grams minimum i'm not saying that should be the weight that your birds will weigh of course if they come as 52 on day one at day seven they should be weighing 207 or so yeah and that's really good so if you can get their weight to be around 180 to 200 grams at day seven come on give me a high five you're doing well already so that's it their weight at day seven should be minimum at minimum times four of what they were on day one that's what will tell you okay you are doing your job well and all things are moving fine okay so you may want to ask what if i've seen now that the birds are not performing well what can i really do of what help is this information to me yeah it should help you to be able to do your best and boost them as much as you can although some birds even after boosting them they may not give you the kind of result that you want but your ability to detect in time will still help you to get better results of them and then the most important part is the decisions that you make when you want to order for your next batch of chicks so for this batch let's say they are not doing well just try to give them multivitamins you try to be on the look for diseases try to ensure that diseases don't weigh them down and do all your best give them quality feed quality feed is actually very important because it's your feed that they are converting into meat all right so when you want to order the next batch as somebody who is a vendor we supply the old chicks one of the things that we consider before recommending a particular archery to a client is the history of their performance over the past couple of weeks it actually has to be the past couple of weeks it cannot be months because things change as a matter of fact as i'm making this video one of the major arteries have had subpar performance for the past four weeks yeah in the past four weeks their performance has not been really good i don't know if they have covered up over the past one week to now but birds that were supplied four weeks ago up to two weeks ago they weren't performing that good okay so that's one of the things that you should watch out for and when you get that kind of batch that doesn't perform well it's an indication that you may want to check very well whether that archery has recovered its standard before you take the next batch because if they have not then there's no reason for you going there the archery that is actually having this challenge now is one of the most expensive so 
imagine you spending lots of money but then you're not getting results so that's one of the things that's one of the help and that we offer our clients you know we are able to recommend and advise you okay ah over the past couple of so so days these ones are these ones have not been really performing well but you can consider this so that's one of the things that vendors will have access to that a farmer may not have access to you may only know what is happening on your farm but you may not know what is happening on several other farms over a period of time to be able to make informed decisions so in case you are willing to order for your daily chicks through diy agri i will be leaving the number on the screen and you can also find the number in the description below so those are the performance indications that you need to know to be able to tell whether your birds will perform well or not and the actions that you need to take afterwards all right so once again this is diy agri your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner so i've gone through my archive and i've seen that these videos will actually help you so before you go you want to watch these videos all right so make sure you subscribe to the channel until the next time peace